Hello, that was a quick demo of me playing around with a scratching template I've made for Ableton Live 8. There should be a link along with the video to where you could download this template and follow along. In this video, I'll show you how to use the template to make some cool scratching effects just using Live 8's built-in devices. But first, I'd like to give you a bit of a overview of the template. In this template, we have three tracks. One is drums, the next is a pretty crude bass loop, and the third track has some classic scratch sounds. The idea for the scratch track is that its only purpose is to make scratch effects. So when we're not scratching, the track will be muted. Also in the scratch track, we have an effects rack, which will allow us to emulate the scratching of a record. This is powered by a ping pong delay. Before Live 8, if we wanted to switch delay times, we would get some pops, or what people call a zipper effect, when we would transition from one delay time to another. With Live 8, there are different transition modes for its delays. If we right click the title bar of the ping pong delay, we will see them down at the bottom of the menu. One of the options is repitch. This will repitch the audio going through the delay when you change your delay time. Since scratching vinyl is technically just repitching the record's audio, we could get a similar effect using this new delay mode. Over here, I have a macro map to the delay time. So as I turn the macro clockwise, it will increase the delay time and repitch the audio while doing so. So at this point, I'm going to fire off some clips and use my mouse to change the delay time and basically scratch the audio. You also may have noticed that the same scratch macro also mutes the track when the knob is all the way to its initial or left position, like so. This allows us to only hear audio from the track when we are scratching. This second macro is mapped to allow some of the dry or unscratched sound to pass through. If you would like to add more of the dry sound to the mix, turn the knob clockwise like so. Let's now map some MIDI to enhance the playability of the template. I'm turning on MIDI map mode by clicking Apple M on the Mac or Control M on Windows. And I'm going to map this scratch macro to a fader. Again, the way this would work is if my fader is all the way down, no audio will pass through. As soon as I've moved the fader up slightly, the track will unmute. After this, the same fader will change my delay times, creating a scratch effect. Next, I'm going to map some of these scratch clips to different keys on my MIDI keyboard. So now let's play around and have some fun just firing off clips and using the fader to scratch them. I'm going to stop here, but I definitely recommend adding your own sounds to this template to make it more your own. Also, be sure to check out dubspot.com for more music production tutorials and tips. Thanks, and take care.